All right, you are welcome again. Today, let's talk about solving inequalities using sign chart. Solving inequalities using sign chart. Now, let's take this question. Find the range of values of x for which x squared minus 7x plus 12 is greater than 0. Find the range of values of x for which x squared minus 7x plus 12 is greater than 0. Okay, please pay attention to this. All right, good. Um, let's go. We have x squared minus 7x plus 12 is greater than 0. Yes, let's factorize. Okay, so we're going to ask ourselves a question. What are the two numbers that when you add them together, it will give you minus 7? And then when you multiply them, it will give you 12, positive 12. Then you discover that the two numbers are minus 4, minus 3. So when you say minus 4, minus 3, it will give you minus 7. And then minus 4 times minus 3, it will give you positive 12. Okay, good. Now, in place of this minus 7x, let's replace it with minus 4x minus 3x. Because when you say minus 4x minus 3x, it will still give you 7 minus 7x. Okay? Now, let's go. So, we're going to have x squared minus 3x minus 4x plus 12 is greater than 0. Okay? From here, let's group it 2 by 2. So we're going to have x squared minus 3x in bracket. And then we have minus, we have 4x plus 12 in bracket, greater than 0. Here, let's factor out. In this bracket, we have uh, x squared minus 3x. So what do they have in common? So we discover that x is in common in both terms. So when you factor out x in x squared, you will have x remaining and then minus 3x when you factor out x in minus 3x you have minus 3 remaining so that when you say x times x it will give you x squared and then x times minus 3 it will give you minus 3x okay good now in this minus 4x plus 12 what do they have in common we can see 4 minus 4 so let's factor out minus 4 so when you factor out minus 4 in minus 4x you have x remaining then when you factor out minus 4 in 12 you have minus 3 remaining so that when you say minus 4 times x it will give you minus 4x then minus 4 times minus 3 it will give you plus 12 all right then we have greater than 0 so in this place, we are having two brackets, and then in the bracket, we have similar thing there, okay? One thing is in these two brackets, so we can pick one of them, and then pick the values outside the bracket, okay? So when we pick the values outside the bracket, we're going to have x minus 4 in bracket, then let's pick one of the values in the bracket, which is x minus 3, then we say it's greater than 0. So let's separate it individually. So we're going to say x minus 4 is greater than 0 or x minus 3 is greater than 0. So let's remove the bracket. So we're going to have x minus 4 is greater than 0 or x minus 3 is greater than 0. So let's take minus 4 to the other side. We're going to have x is greater than 4 or x is greater than 3. Hello, exactly. So we have solved and we obtained two values, which are 4 and 3. x greater than 4 or x greater than 3. So in these two values, we ask ourselves a question. Which of them is bigger? Okay, which of them is bigger? You can see clearly that 4 is bigger than 3, right? Good. Let's draw a number line. 
then in a number line let's number it okay let's just in this one we have minus two minus one zero one two three four five okay so in this a number line you know we have four to be bigger right so let's draw a line up from four and then because it is bigger let's point forward then we'll say from four forward okay and then we have the second value to be three then and then three is less than four right so we have from three we point arrow up then downwards okay so in this place in this number line we can see that we are having three range of values three range of values number one we are having all the numbers that are less than three and then we have all the numbers in between three and four and then all the numbers greater than four so we want to put it in inequality statement we're going to say that all the numbers that are less than three you can see x is less than three x is less than three and then in between three and four we can say that x is greater than three but less than four that is all the numbers in between three and four so we can say that x is greater than three but less than four and then the last range we have x is greater than four okay now let's draw a table four by four table okay so in our first row we're going to write our range so in the second column in the first row we're going to have our first range which is x less than three then in the third column we're going to have the uh, the second range which is x is greater than three but less than four and then in the last column we're going to write the last range which is x is greater than four and then let's come to our first column so we're going to write the values that we obtain which is x minus four or x minus three is greater than zero so from this place we're going to write x minus three and then x minus four okay now under it we're going to write product that is the product of x minus 3 and x minus 4 okay that is x minus 3 times x minus 4 okay now let's go let's use the sign chart probably here so in this table here we're going to pick from the range that we are having and then put in our expression and see what we are going to have so in the first expression we are having x minus 3 so in our first range which is x less than 3 so we're going to pick a number from this range and then put in this expression and see what we're going to have now let's just pick the number 2 so we will pick the number 2 and then fix in this expression we're going to have 2 minus 3 that is when x is equal to 2 okay so we'll say 2 minus 3 what is it going to give us 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 1 so we are having a negative number that is minus one so in this place we're going to have minus one okay so that means in a table we're going to write minus okay good in the second expression which is x minus four let's also pick the same number in that same range in that first range which is x less than three so let's pick two so when we pick two let's say that our x is two so when we fix it in this expression we're going to say two minus four so two minus four what is going to give us it's going to give us minus two that means we're going to have minus so under our product we're going to say minus times minus going to give us plus okay good now let's go to our second range you know our second range say x is greater than three but less than four that means the numbers in between three and four we can simply pick 3.5 so 3.5 let's say that 3.5 is our x so in this expression x minus 3 so let's say 
3.5 minus 3. So 3.5 minus 3 is equal to 0 0.5. That means we're going to have positive number. So we're going to write plus. And then let's also go to our second expression, which is x minus 4. So still using the same range, which is 3.5. So when we say 3.5 minus 4, it's going to give us minus 0 0.5. That means you are going to have minus. And then under our product, we're going to say plus times minus going to give us minus all right good now let's go to our last range so the last range is x greater than four so when we say x is greater than four well, we're going to pick from the range let's just simply pick the number five okay so when we pick the number five and then place it in our expression which is x minus three in this place, we say that our x is what? 5. So we're going to have 5 minus 3. It's going to give us 2. So we're going to have positive. And then in our second expression, x minus 4. So using the same value, which is 5, we're going to have 5 minus 4 equal to what? 1. That means we're going to have positive. So when in under our product, we say plus times plus will give us plus. All right? Good. That means we have completed our table. Now let's see our conclusion. How are we going to conclude? Now pay attention to this level. Okay. Now let's go back to our question. Our question says find the range of values of x for which x squared minus 7x plus 12 is greater than 0. So the inequality sign we are having is greater than. So we are under our product, we are going to be looking for the range of value that has positive. That has what positive in the product. Okay. So the one the range that is having positive in the product is what is what x is less than three and then x is greater than four. Okay. So in a table the range that is having positive is x is less than 3 and then x is greater than 4. So that means that this range x is less than 3 and then the range x is greater than 4 are the range that satisfies this inequality which is x squared minus 7x plus 12 is greater than 0. Hello. That means when you pick any number less than 3 and place in this our expression it will satisfy the inequality and then when you pick any number greater than 4 and place in this our expression it will also satisfy the inequality so in our conclusion we're going to say thus the original inequality is true if x is less than 3 or x is greater than 4. Hello. Hope you see how we conclude it, right? Please. This is the conclusion. We say, thus, the original inequality is true if x is less than 3 or x is greater than 4. Right? Yes. Thank you very much for watching.